So Aku went to the foundation of Islam child care in the Tongda Islam. And basically the place is it's a place where it's actually not an orphanage, but it's actually a child care center. So instead of kids being there all the time, parents would send their children there to be taken care of, uh, to like to have proper meals, to have sort of little activities, and then they would go home at the end of the day in the afternoon with their parents. So it's a little different with an orphanage since you know an orphanage the kids don't have parents. The kids don't have parents and they have to be at the center all the time. So at, at the Kongda Islam Child Care Center, they would take care of the children for the parents during the day. So what, what inspired us to go to this um, child care center is that you know, we find it quite striking that um, nowadays there's the rising problem of how you know, there's a lot of problems in the family that you know, kids don't usually get enough attention from parents. You know, even for, for us, we're like you know, middle class people. So we thought that it was striking to find out that you know, in areas such, such as the Islam place slums, that you know, most of the people, you know, just, just to find money to make a living already takes up a lot of your time. So we, we were just wondering that, um, how do parents you know, take care of their kids in such these areas? So yeah, that, that was the reason that it's nice to go there. So this is this photograph is a photograph of the foundation on the outside the building. <coughs> so this is the like the the pride uh, like the poster outside of the outside of the building, which um, tells us that the building is the, the foundation is under the the support of the princess. <laughs> And these are part of the children in the child care. In the in FC, FSCC, the child care center, there are um, a bit under 100 children each day. And they would separate the children into three groups. In this photo is the, uh, they call it the Dekdo group. And then there's also the Deklek, which is around two to five years old. This is, no, sorry, this is two to seven years old. And then the Deklek is around one year to around three years. And also Deklek, which is babies. So the main objective um, for, for our, uh, pro, uh, our project was that we wanted to create a better environment, a better atmosphere for the children in the, in the foundation because you know, they were, they're, they're not getting enough care from their parents since their parents have to work. So that's why they're in the foundation for the, uh, in the first place, and it might also be um, tedious for them. It may also be a tedious for them to you know spend time with uh, just the st the foundation staff all the time. So we paid a visit there <coughs> to uh, participate in some activities with the children. And the purpose of this presentation is to create awareness of the Islam Foundation to get you guys to you know introduce the foundation. So you guys know what to do, like you know, because it's just a small amount of time, but you can create a lot of happiness for the children in the child care center. And the, so um, this is basically a rundown of, of what what we did and what we plan to do um, at the foundation. So when we got when we got there, the first thing we did was we took out the children and we played with them in the playgrounds, and you know, um, did some activities with them basically. And, we, and then we, you know, participated in some uh, minor chores, helped the staff with some minor chores, like bathing the children, feeding them. Yeah, and then we uh, tried, tried to uh, raise donations and also awareness among our peers and also um, among ourselves too. As you can see here, this is the schedule. Um, we, we went there at around 1.30 when the kids were still sleeping, so we just went around taking photos of the place. And then at 2 o'clock, the children woke up, so we had time to play with them, free time. Then we feed them snacks and supper. And then after that, we uh, helped the staff bathe them. And finally, we, got, we helped them get ready to go home. We packed their bags, got them dressed up.
and this is the uh, some photos of the children when they were taking the nap time. No, okay. this is the gecko, and these some these are some of the activities that the smaller children had to do. So uh, you guys might be wondering um, what you guys uh, what what kind of donations you guys can make. So. Um, one program, uh, one, one, one option. One whole, day, one whole day of meals is only 500 baht if you want to donate. And if you go there, you can actually go for free. They would accept you to just let you play with the children. And you can also give other donations. You can give more money, you can give food, you can give snacks, um, even toys for the children to play with. So there's a wide range of varieties that you can do. And also, you can uh, all your donations we, will be guaranteed with a receipt. For example, if you um, ask someone to donate 500 baht for you, you could receive a receipt from the from the foundation, guaranteeing that uh, the money was taken uh, for donations. So it, it was about our main objective is you know to go and help out these children, but um, it turned out that we actually gained more than what we had to offer because you know just be, being there it kind of offered us you know a chance to be a, become a child again. And you know, just being with these kids, you know, they, you know, th their parents are working all day, and you know, they don't have money, they don't have, you know, access to good food. But um, as you can see, you know, they, they, everyone still has like a smile on their faces. So you know, once we're being there, you know, it really gave us a chance to reflect on back on ourselves that you know, once we were a child, and you know, we, it doesn't really require that much to become happy. You know, so. So I reckon it's just all about you know just going there and and you know not just to donate the money but to actually you know have a good time together and I reckon that's why we that's why we do it. For some people you might think that it's only one day it's not going to make a difference but if you actually think about it these children have to be in the foundation every single day of the year so if they had one day to have have fun with new people enjoy like the the daily routine routine with new people. Uh, get to do new stuff with other people, it could make them actually more happy than you think. And finally, we made a promise to ourselves that we will be back. We will be back. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ajahn Smith, for giving us the opportunity. And thank you guys for listening.